Hello and God bless you. Well, today we continue our 30 day study of the book of Psalms. Today we are on day 26. And like with 25, we are in Psalm 119. We split the 119 up because it is the longest chapter in the Bible. We're going to pick up today with Psalms 119, verses 97 through 176. And as we see and said last time, this is the Psalms by an unnamed author. And let's get on to it. And I want to say that's mean, but I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than my enemies. For they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients. Because I keep thy precepts. I refrain my feet from every evil way. That I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments. For thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. And this is, I believe it's none. I think it's actually spelled like Joshua the son of Nun. If I'm not mistaken. None. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And we got a little picture image of this verse for you for you. Because the word is our way to Jesus. And as you can see here, this is a picture that says thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And you see a guy walking on a road that's on the Bible. He's walking towards the cross. And Jesus got his arms spread for him. That's what the Bible is. It's our way to get to know Jesus more. Get to go to the Lord more. Our God. Anyway, let's continue on to verse 106. I have sworn and I will perform it. That I will keep thy righteousness. Righteous judgment, excuse me. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Except I beseech thee the free will offering of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand. Yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me. Yet I err not for from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. Once that's Shemek. Sorry if I pronounced that. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place in my shield, and I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou putteth away all the wicked of the earth like dross, therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. 
Like I want to say this is Ain or Ann. I am done. I have done judgment and justice. Leave me not to my oppressors. Be surely for thy servant for good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of the, thy righteousness. Deal with me, thy servant according unto thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant, give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. It's either P or P, I don't know exactly how that's pronounced. Sorry about that, but it says, Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doeth my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words give, giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. I open my mouth and panted for, I long for thy commandments. Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me, as thou used to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in the word, in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of water run down my eyes, because they keep not thy law. I am probably going to trip over this word. I want to say zaddy or taddy. Sorry about that. I do not know how to pronounce that. But let's see. It says, Righteous are thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commended are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten thy works. Just give me thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do I not forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Yes, it is. Amen. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Kof, I want to say that's pronounced. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the drawing, the dawning of the morning, and cried, I hoped in thy word. My eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are true. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. I want to say this is Resh. Reach, maybe. Sorry if I pronounce these words wrong. 
Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me quick, quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld, I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts, quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. I want to say Shin. Sorry if I pronounced these words wrong, but this is the next letter. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hope for thy salvation, and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. This is the last one. This is pronounced Tav. It looks like T-A-U, but it's kind of spelled as T-A-B in the pronunciation of it. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. And we're going to see how I kind of know this because there's a cool thing that we're going to see at the end. Anyway, let's go on to the 170. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgment help me. And I believe this is our last one here. I'm going to take a quick second to make sure. But it says... I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not fret, forget thy commandments. And yep, this is the end. Just want to make sure before we get into this other part, because got something cool to show you. Okay. We've seen here in verse 1 that it says Aleph, and that's the very first letter of the alphabet. And here in 169 was Tav, the very last letter. This is what they look like in the current Hebrew. Aleph on your far side of the screen looks like an S, and Tav looks like an N. But in ancient Hebrew, they used, well, no, well there's a different variation of these letters, but there's also a pictures. Now I want to show you what these pictures look like of the Aleph Tav and see what you think. I think it's pretty neat. There's the Aleph on this side this time and the Tav on the other side. Looks like a lamb or ram's head and then a cross. I think that's really cool. I think that just God's alpha word in the Hebrew alphabet screams Jesus. And it shows that Jesus is the beginning, you know, is the word from A to Z. Or alpha the top as the Hebrew alphabet is. Because Jesus was our lamb that was without sin. That paid the price on the cross for us. 
So I hope you hope you like that. If you did, give God glory. And tomorrow is going to be pretty interesting, I think, because you know Psalm one nineteen is a chapter that pretty much just gives love to God's word. But uh, tomorrow is going to be for day twenty seven, and God willing, we will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow, these 15 chapters are called, called the Psalms of Ascents. And why they're called that is these 15 verses, or chapters rather, are sung or spoke by the Jewish people when they go up to the temple for three times a year as they commanded in Deuteronomy to go worship God at Passover which is when Jesus had came and he was crucified and the Feast of Weeks which we know as Pentecost as Christians that's the day when God sent the Holy Spirit and in the, in the um, later on in the year in the fall I was about to say fall but I was making sure in the fall is the Feast of Tabernacles in each of these three feasts, God commands them, commands them in Deuteronomy that everyone is to come up to where his where he, he where he put his name, and that's of course that's in Jerusalem. That's where the temple, both temples were, and it said that they would read or speak or maybe even sing Psalms. 120 through 134 as they're going up the road ascending up to Jerusalem. It's also believed that as they're walking up the steps, there's 15 steps to get to the temple back then. And in each step they'd quote a chapter. But they were speaking Psalms 120 through 134 as they ascended up to go worship before God. I think that's fascinating. I think it kind of it kind of makes the word come to life. It's you know makes it a little bit more than just black words on a white page or however you got your font set up that you read or white letters on a blue page for for our videos here. Anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give God glory. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow as we continue with our videos and our thirty-day study of the Book of Psalms. Love you. God bless you. And have a great day.